uh, you don't mind then if you stop at ours? No, do we, heck? They're already there. Does it mean you get on with Jackson? You and Hazel are good together. Oh. You're not harbouring thoughts of some sort of gruesome foursome, are you? Oh, don't even go there. Hazel's a lovely woman. She is. She's clever. She's funny. But I will never, ever, and neither will she. Oh, good, because it'd be like she was doing it with my dad. That'll be £4.20, please. Well, I'm skinny. Thank you. Thank you. Later. Dad? Yeah, I know. Perhaps we'll be father and son then, too. I'll be worse than the real family. And like all the best ladies of a certain age, she still has a fair amount of poke under her bonnet. But you won't get a better bargain than this. But I do like the shape of the dashboard. <laughs> There's no need to rush into it. Well, what's the fuel consumption like? Loads of miles to the litre. What's that in English? She's cheap, reliable, and it's not going to let you down. <sighs> but do I really need a car? Oh, come and have a cup of tea, and I think. Aaron, that woman's called again, says she wants to test drive this later. Not my car. Well, it's not your car yet, is it? And I mean, if, if you're not that interested, then... Throw in a new set of seat covers and you've got a deal. Cash or check? Uh, right, there's a deposit. And you'll get the rest later. I think I'll be needing a sold sign for that unsellable car of mine. Get in. Or a lesser man might say, I told you so. 150% profit. Keep this going, we'll have to open a showroom, won't we? Yeah, we will. Can I nip into town? Yeah, of course, you can pick up the parts for that Subaru and all while you're there. Awesome. Ooh, nice one, that. Oh, Jesus. Hello, well, 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 fancy seeing you here. You need a boyfriend? My boss, actually. You look rough. Late night. Not been to bed yet. Holly, your mum's going mental not knowing where you are, you know. Charles could hear you now. Please, just come on. I am home. Um... Where are you going? To get my head down before my shift tonight. Tell my mum you see me and you're dead. <coughs> One careful lady owner, so Aaron says. Don't they all? <laughs> Can't wait to see Florence in a new beaded overcoat. Florence? No, that's what she's christened her. <laughs> no, no, you're buying a car, love. Not a pet. No, I'm buying more than that. I'm buying freedom. This week, the village. Next week, Harrogate. How's the car bit of your brain? I didn't know I had one. You're a man, it's hardwired. <laughs> What can I do for you? I need you to look at something for me when you've got a minute. <laughs> oh, all systems go. Covers are in and the paperwork's signed. We we'll do the business after art class. Uh -huh. <laughs> See you later. I didn't know you any better. She's after a car, not my body. Is that why you took my coffee away this morning? What, because you sold that clock to your to Pearl? Bang on. Even though I'm a few hundred quid off. Drinks are on me, come on, mate. What about your conscience? Anything on that? Pack the lager, please, love. So rule one, pulling a fast one. Don't do it on your own doorstep. You weren't whining when you found out it was Clark, were you? Well, shh. <laughs> Didn't know you were going to sell it on to a mate. Hell's not a mate. No, she's practically family. Who is? Why don't you ask him? He ain't put you up to it. Oh, no, he thought this one all by himself. She's ancient. It's not like she's going to be driving very far, is it? It's not as if she can afford to buy a new one when this heap of scrap carks it. You might as well have battered her over the head and nicked her cash cards and have done with it. A bit dramatic. We live together, don't mean you have to tell him everything. I told him everything, because this is off the scale of wrong. Oh, but it wouldn't have been if I hadn't sold it to Pearl. No! Well, yeah, th th No! Right, so I can sell a clock car, but just not to your receptionist. It... it, it uh, Look, it's a bit more complicated than that. Right, either do something about it sharpish or I will. Oh, so you're going to grasp me up? There's a principle at stake. Yeah, I don't do principles. Honestly, you two. Call yourself mates. Oi. Bought you all. 
got a date with a frozen peach and a hot vet. Right. I might just pop back in, actually, and just have a quick word with Darren. Oh, why? Why? What's he done now? It's just that every time that I think that he's sorted, and every time that I think that we're right, he does this flipping swerve ball thing. Then let him. But we've come so far. And we've reached so high. And we've looked each day and night in the eye. Before you start, don't even bother. You're wasting your time. We've well, not heard the last of this. Yeah, whatever. He's got the patience of a saint putting up with you. Just when I was about to do you a favour. You? Yeah. Oh, I saw her today. In town. You saw Holly? Yeah. She's working at that dodgy bar by the station. She'd been up all night and she looked like death. Now she said not to tell you, but... I just thought you'd better know. you'd given up and gone home. I don't think you're hearing me. Yes, I am, because you're yelling down my ear. I don't know where Brenda's got to. I'm giving it another five minutes, then I'm closing up. Hang on, I've only just got his. I've only just got his attention. And I've got a village hall full of art students. There's no chance of a cup of tea. Sorry. Right, you can go now. Not until I've finished. Ripping off an old lady. What's next, Darren? Mugging toddlers for chocolate. Robbing flipping... Oh, shut up, Paddy. <laughs> What's a few extra miles between mates, eh? Exactly. Look, you buy a used car, it's always going to be a gamble. But not if you buy that car off a so-called mate. And you might not care if Pearl gets marooned in the middle of nowhere because it flipping breaks down, but I do. Aaron will see her right, won't you, love? It's not as if she was going to be rally driving. She just needed a little something to put her about in. Excuse me? Do we have to encourage him? When he's getting stuck in and showing entrepreneurial spirit, yes. But committing an offence to make money? Point taken. Thank you. You've got till tomorrow to sort it, or I'll sort it for you. Our landlord has spoken. Yeah, Kane's gonna love this. Oh, way up, girls. Here's our life model. Aaron's got something to tell you, Pearl. I've, uh, I've messed up. There's been a bit of a kind of crossed wires sort of situation, hasn't there, Aaron? What wires and how crossed? Well, uh, it's your car. It seems that she's been clocked. Florence has been sawn in two and glued back together again. Well, somebody turned the odometer backwards. <sighs> What's so odd about that car? They've reduced the mileage. I mean, Aaron didn't have a clue when he put it out for sale. Well, how come he's got a clue now, then? Extra checks. And, obviously, because it's you buying it. Oh, I don't mind a few extra miles. I mean, I've got a few extra miles on the clock myself, for heaven's <laughs> sake. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, she's off the market. I've just come to give you your deposit back. But you'll have bought the seat covers. Well, you can use them on another car when I find you one. I'm sorry. Well, at least he's done the decent thing. Plenty of people wouldn't. Well, that's Aaron for you, eh? Do you know, he's turning into a really wonderful young man. 